Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Will Girling here, sports and performance nutritionist. And today we're talking about winter immunity and how you can protect yourself against all those nasties over this season. Let's roll that intro. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Now, if you are watching this and you're not subscribed, why not subscribe? Hit the subscribe button now. But let's get on with today's topic. Today, we are talking about the important topic of winter immunity. Now, winter immunity, obviously, it plays an integral role every year, but more so this year than ever before, as we need to keep ourselves protected and keep our immune system strong and capable of dealing with any potentials like COVID. Now many of you out there are going to be exercising, going to be doing runs and rides over this winter period and knowing what to do and how to look after yourself is going to be super important. So I'm going to go over with my five top tips that you can easily do and manage to make sure that you stay in the best condition and health possible. Tip number one. Many of you out there may go out and do low carb training. You may have a low carb diet. You may have low carbohydrate state training, so doing a fasted session, both run or ride, or maybe you're just really busy and you're commuting to work, or you're getting out somewhere for your morning session and you haven't had time to have breakfast. Now, low carbohydrate training has been shown to increase our cortisol levels, and that in turn can suppress our immune system and potentially open us up to more infection. So many of you out there who are doing low carb training or just getting out there to get it in but haven't had carbohydrate beforehand, it's possibly not the best thing to do over this climate. Recommendations of having over 50% of your food over a day from carbohydrate and having carbohydrate of at least 30 to 60 grams per hour min minimum this is during your endurance-based training will ensure that you're not suppressing your immune system from that training. So there's my tip number one, eat your carbs. Tip number two, saliva and dry mouth. May sound a bit odd, but many of you uh, during winter may find yourselves having dry mouth when you're doing runs and rides, or any kind of exercise in fact. Now, Within our mucus and within our saliva, there's actually something called IgA, which stands for immunoglobulin A, which is an antibody. And as you can imagine, as we're breathing really hard and we're exercising, lots of air is coming in with loads of potential bacteria and viruses. That is our first line defense against airborne bacteria. And if you have dry mouth and you're not producing saliva, you're getting rid of that first line of defense and opening yourself once again up to more infection. So ensuring that you don't have dry mouth is integral. So what can you do to make sure that you are still having um, you know, saliva produced? You can easily just add citrus juice to your drinks to increase saliva production. So obviously lime, lemon, orange juice, whether it's fresh or whether any other source, you can just squeeze it into your water and it should help increase saliva production over that time. You can also of course have chewing gum, but if you're working very hard and you're doing runs and rides, you don't want to be choking on it. Tip number three, vitamin D3. During the winter months, sun exposure reduces, it's mostly overcast and cloudy every day. And also, as it comes into winter, the angle of the earth changes, so that we're not actually able to get the UV rays that we need. As such, we're not able to turn that vitamin D3 that we take on and convert it into its active component of 25-OHD. Now, this has a primary role in maintaining our immune system. The recommendation is to take on 1,000 international units or 25 micrograms a day to help support our immune system over those winter months and maintain healthy to optimal levels of vitamin D3 especially important for you exercising individuals out there. There are also some other benefits such as bone density improvement as well, especially for you older individuals or people that have bone density issues. But nonetheless, the main important factor here is about immunity and taking a supplement form of this over the winter months will aid you. 
If you're not sure about taking a supplement form without consulting a doctor, maybe it's worthwhile getting an independent blood test or a blood test through your GP to ensure and make sure that you're not taking too much and overdosing over this time. Point four, following a low calorie diet. Many of you out there may be striving to achieve better body composition over this time and reducing your calories and thus reducing your body fat. What you can find though is if you are too extreme on your calorie deficit, you are going to further exacerbate your potential risk of getting ill. So an easy way to get around this is to ensure that you're getting the right ratios of macronutrients, that your calorie deficit is not too grand, and you're being sensible in the approach you take towards that body fat loss. If you go too aggressive, there is a lot of research out there to back up how it suppresses your immune system and will once again increase your potential for infection. Point five, protein. Yes, you knew it was coming, but protein is really responsible for a lot of cell production and recovery, reductions in inflammation and things like this. Ensuring you're having adequate protein to match your body composition related goals and your training volume and intensity is really important for you to make sure that you're maintaining a healthy immune system. If you are a normal exercising individual and you're not in a calorie deficit, having anywhere between 1.2 to 2 grams per kilogram body weight would be a recommendation at minimum. And if you are in a calorie deficit, aiming for 2 to 3 grams per kilogram body weight would also be highly recommended. Protein has been shown to have a direct link with your immune system. So definitely ensuring that you're getting adequate amounts is important. And if you are an older individual, making sure you're getting larger intakes of protein to help support stimulating muscle protein synthesis, which is harder in older individuals. That's my top five tips for you guys out there. There is one little sneaky one though that we're gonna slip in at the end here, which is zinc lozenges. Zinc lozenges are a certain form of zinc called ionic zinc, and it has to be in a lozenge. You have to suck it in your mouth for around 30 minutes. And taking on an adequate amount of zinc per day for several days can reduce the incidence of the common cold. It can reduce the risk of getting it when you have those first signs, like a tickle in your throat or a sniffle, or it can also shorten the duration of the overall cold if you still do get sick. Now, whether that relates to COVID and things like this, it's not for me to say. There isn't obviously any research out there on that. Now, if you do get ill, your immune system is obviously gonna be compromised and the potential of getting sick off the back of that is obviously greater as well. So even if it is just the common cold, taking something like zinc lozenges or following the recommended amount on the back of the pack would be recommended. So there we have it. They are all my top tips for you guys out there to maintain winter immunity. Many of you are gonna be exercising and doing activity over this time to get out of the house and just get something done. So share this with your friends and family that you know are gonna be exercising and trying to drop body fat. Keep them safe over this time. If you have watched this and you enjoyed it, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of it or which tip stood out the most to you. As always, do subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. It helps keep supporting me to do these videos. Remember guys, fuel for the work required and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye.